everyone, it's Just Kebab here, coming right back at you with another Boom Beach video. Now guys, today, uh, it's gonna be kind of a fun video, gonna be kind of quick. You see I'm still here on location at beautiful Lake Travis uh, in Austin, Texas. Oh, what happened? Did I get raided? I think I got raided. Oh, nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. Uh, well, where are we on the, uh, on the leaderboard, guys? I think we're still doing good. I think we're still top 50. Where are we? Oh, 47. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, so I was gonna do kind of a crazy setup. Uh, since we've got since we've got the scorchers and the riflemen, I was thinking about running three scorchers because they're kind of expensive, and I'm I'm not boosting I'm not boosting for this at all. Uh, three scorchers, uh, boat of cryos, and four riflemen. Cryos are gonna be good, a little fire and ice combo, and. Uh, for the hero, for the hero, we're gonna go really crazy, really going out on a limb here. We're gonna go with Kavan and his crystal critters. Brr, it's a little bit chilly outside. I think it's about 37 Fahrenheit right now. Of course, for Canadian terms, that's that's nothing, but I'm here in Texas kind of with a thin coat and it's very humid and windy. Anyway, hope the wind doesn't really affect the audio too much. Okay, there we go, Kavan, crystal critters. I like to feature the critters because it's it's an ability that like nobody ever hardly uses in any other videos and it's kind of fun. Um, they're like healers on demand. They're really good on the drop, especially if there's going to be a lot of damage to be had. That being said, what do we got here? Uh, ah, we're just going to destroy it. I don't want to waste your time doing an NPC base. I do want to make sure it's uh, off my map though. Okie dokie. Where are you? There you are, Dr. T. Alright, getting right into it. Stage one, Dr. T. Uh, we will just bark this down, or attempt to. I'm not sure if we will. Come on, die, die. All right, I guess we're gonna drop troops on the next stage. Heck, if the wind is really bad, I might just have to remaster this audio too, just like I did for my previous video. Oh guys, I'm working on a vlog for you right now. I've already taken some uh, some shots today. Man, this, this headphone will not stay in my ear. I've already taken some shots today. I uh, went to a nice little restaurant, had a good burger, uh, probably do some more vlogging tonight when I go to dinner, and maybe I'll do the editing uh, this evening. Anywho, what am I doing? What am I doing? Getting back to Dr. T. Come on, Dr. T. Where'd you go? There you go. Alright, attacking. Attacking. So, yeah, let's go ahead and drop troops. Get them out there. Get everybody going, a little bit of cryo, making it snow, we'll drop some critters, because we can. They're completely unnecessary at this point, but we'll just drop some more. But this this should be a potent combo. I, I feel like I feel like as far as crazy troop combos go, this one has some real potential. The Scorchers with their buffed health, they're gonna make super tanks. We've got Kavan uh, giving some support healing. He's also got damage mitigation. Remember, anytime a troop gets healed, it's, uh, you know, remember, it's like 10 or 15 percent. Let's go take a look at that real quick, in fact, because basically they're going to be even tankier when he's getting heals. And then we got all the riflemen back there to uh, really lay down some good DPS. The cryos are going to make sure that all the incoming damage is slowed. So I think we've got a lot of damage mitigation. We've got some huge, huge tanks. And uh, yeah, what is the OK, it's the galvanizing presence for the hero perk and yeah it's 10 percent damage reduction so all this stuff adds up all of this stuff adds up we're gonna definitely enjoy that 10 percent damage uh reduction once they're getting the heals so let's just drop everybody over here on the left side nothing too technical about the drop guys we're just spamming it spamming it maybe put some critters out okay everyone's we're all over the map Let's get some crystal critters out. Come on guys, run up there. Come on, it's so slow. And yeah, I think these critters last a long time. The crystal critters, they're like 15 or 20 seconds. They last a good while. It's just kind of to help protect our investment. Again guys, gold is really tight, so I'm still climbing that ladder. I don't know where it's gonna stop, but uh, I'm, I'm nowhere near burning out. I know there's still plenty of room to go. I'm still getting positive EP gains every day, every hour, really. Uh, the resource bases, I'm just letting them pile up again on my map, so that's kind of why we've plateaued a little bit, but actually I think I've got five resource bases that are, uh, have been recaptured. Oh my goodness, guys, we lost a Johnson. Rest in peace, my good friend, rest in peace. Okay, or pieces. Not sure which one it was, didn't see him go down. Probably a boom cannon or something like that, got him. Okie dokie. Okay, dropping everybody. Uh, let's put a little shock down there, I don't know. Get some critters out. 
crystal critters that is. Maybe some normal critters on both sides. We'll flank them with critters. Again, there's really not much to it. Maybe maybe stage six or seven is going to give us a little bit of a run for our money. I don't expect four or five to really be a problem at all. Might do a reflare. Yeah, we're kind of going all over the place. Let's do a little reflare. Maybe put a little smoke down. Not really sure if that's necessary, but we'll do it anyway. I'll get some crystal critters out. Uh, we need to get some heals going down over here and maybe a shock. Yeah, those riflemen, they beat the uh, they beat the Scorcher over there, so they were taking some damage. I think we're still doing okay. We haven't really lost a bunch. We'll go ahead and make it snow. More crystal critters. Critters on the flank. How would you like your critters, sir? Well, I like them on the flank. And here we go. Now everyone's just focusing in on that uh, HQ and boom, just like that guys, Dr. T stage four goes down. Not much to it, not much to it at all. Little head bob, little head bob. Nine, nine Johnsons were lost on that one. Hmm, okay. It's okay, it's really, it's pretty cheap, I don't care. Uh, one, one thing is that resource production bonus, it does help a little bit to get that gold even though it's kind of a you know, not really my first choice for a tribal. Okay, we're just gonna drop everybody on the right. Let's get Kevon out there sooner. It seems like he's just really dragging behind if I drop him last. All right, get some crystal critters out to start with the immediate heals. We'll make it snow, make it snow. Get some critters on the left flank. Or I tried to. Critters on the left flank. Critters up the middle. Get some more crystal critters out. Making it snow. Let's reflare over to the right. Put some smokes down. Let's get some crystal critters out for the reflare. Making it snow again. And I think we should be in pretty good shape right here. Let's go with some more crystal critters. I'm really just doing this to try to save gold, guys. But actually, it's, it's a pretty cool ability. It's one that people don't really use. And again, it's like it's like having a whole squad of healers just on demand. Now, they're temporary, but they do last a good while. They also provide cannon fodder. We don't care if they get shot. They have a pretty good amount of health, so they can take some damage, too. Honestly, they're, they're pretty fun. They're pretty fun to play with. And you can see I've, I've ranked them up a few levels as well, so I... That helps because you get more. Yeah, 13 Johnsons were gone. You know, we're always going to lose a few more as these st stages go on. That is okay. All right, stage six, guys. Moving in right on into stage six. Now is where it starts to get a little bit more fun. Okay, okay. Well, we're just going to drop everybody again on the on the right side. Actually, let's drop them all down here. I think we'll be able to fan out, or we'll, we'll have like a better... A better drop going over here. I don't want to drop on this right side because there's just a lot of instant damage and maybe a lot of Johnsons will get picked off. I want to make sure we get the uh, Scorchers in front of everyone. The Cryos are out there using their little Cryo Beams. Go ahead and drop some Crystal Critters just to help with some of the initial heals. Let's make it snow. We'll make it snow twice. Again, I'm really relying on the Crystal Critters to do a lot of the healing. I'm just waiting for them to go down. We'll go ahead and drop some more Crystal Critters. making it snow. Let's get some more crystal critters out. Let's drop down an actual heal over here. I think they're getting a lot of damage. Yeah, we got those rockets that are really kind of doing work to our troops right now, guys. Uh, how about critters up the middle? I have a feeling we need to do a reflare here pretty soon. Oh yeah, look at all those riflemen going down over here. Let's try to keep them up as long as we can. Let's reflare re everyone to the center. We drop some crystal critters for the reflare. Let's shock these rockets. Okay, we have lost uh, a scorcher. This is starting to look really ugly, guys. This might be a fail. Okay, there goes another scorcher. I think this isn't gonna work. Kavan is down. We've got one scorcher. And uh, 
two cryos and one Johnson. Make that one cryo and one Johnson. Yeah, okay. We're gonna come right back at this with a whole other uh, whole other troop combo. Burr. It's really getting cold in here. We're really getting cold out here, in fact. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that didn't work out too well, guys. But hey, we tried. Oh, oh, here we go, barrage, huh? Like, it's gonna make any difference at all. Okay, tell you what, I'm actually gonna go back inside because I'm getting cold. Uh, we'll blame it on the, on the cold fingers. And, uh, yeah, we'll pick it right back okay, up. Okay, we're back inside now. Very, getting really chilly out there. The wind just, I tell you, it gets, gets right through you. Okay, how much did that fail cost me? Ouch, 445K. Right, so we're not gonna do that anymore. Um, you know what, let's give it one more shot. Let's give it one more shot, it's okay. We, we've got two and a half mil. We can do it, we can afford it. But if it fails again, we're going to hold its best. Now let's, let's think this out a little bit better. Um, the problem was we had a lot of boom cannons and a lot of rockets. So, I think, what are we gonna do here? Did they try a smoky attack? Did they try to smoke them all up to the headquarters? I think, let's, let's do that, let's do that. It might just work, guys. Alright, let's just drop everybody. And let's smoke them up top. Let's get some critters out on the walk. We probably want some, uh, let's get some more critters out. Some more smokes. And I'm totally out of GDD. So let's just see what happens. Just hoping those critters are enough to keep our, to keep our guys alive. Drop a heal. Okay, critters are down. Crystal critters are down, but I think we're in a good spot. I think this is going to be the key right here. We we have lost a lot of Johnsons. Let's get another heal out. Get some normal critters out. At this point, guys, it's all a matter of keeping the uh, the rifleman alive. Yeah, this one's going to do it. more heals and there we go just like that guys Dr. T stage six goes down again heavy casualties but we won this time so that's that's the important part about it okay that was rough we got 275k but how much does it cost to reload our boats 264 okay about a 10k profit not bad, but we'll, we'll forget about the almost half mil that we lost on that first event. It's okay. It's okay. It's only a bit quick as can see. Okay, this one looks a little bit cleaner. Um, we do have shock launchers. We've got four of those shocks to worry about, and we do have moon cannons as well to worry about. So, you know, let's just drop see what happens. Probably, definitely not the best shoot combo, but uh, we'll make it work. The name of the game here is just going to be damage mitigation. Let's go ahead and drop some critters, just crystal critters, just to keep some heals going out. Now we're going to put a big fat cryo here in the middle. I'm going to flare everybody over here to the left side. I don't even want to mess with that sniper tower. We'll put some critters over there just to keep the sniper tower company and to make sure Kavan doesn't get picked off. We can drop some more crystal critters. We're going to go with double shock, shock, and shock. Let's get some heals out. Yeah, we got rockets really tearing up our Johnsons. We need to put uh, some cryo, uh, cryo bomb in the back on those rockets just to slow down that incoming damage. Let's get some more crystal critters out. We are dropping like flies, guys. We are dropping like flies. But we are clearing out a path. It's really these rockets that are gonna be our biggest problem. Let's get a heal on those uh, riflemen. I really want to flare everyone uh, to the left side of the base if I can. Yeah, we'll do it right now. Let's smoke and smoke. I'm just getting a little, oh, those aren't smokes, are they? Those would be critters. Well, close enough. Critters, smokes, whatever. Let's get a heal going down over here. Now, the only problem about this is we've got those two shock launchers that are gonna be keeping us pinned down. But I think the Scorchers are just gonna run off and do their own thing. They should attract the attention of all the other defenses. And then hopefully the riflemen, for the few that we have left, 
they're gonna stay back here and do a lot of damage to the uh, to the HQ. I think this is gonna work. This should work. Again, not pretty, but I guess it's effective. It is effective because you will see it will go down. Kavan's back there doing his best, running around, trying to keep everybody up, but it's tough. It's tough for, for one, one man to do or one, one hero to do all this work by himself. But guys, here, let's go ahead and spam some artillery in there. And boom, just like that, guys, Dr. T stage seven goes down with, uh, what, what are we gonna call this setup? We've got riflemen, we've got uh, cryo, and we've got a scorcher. RCS, RCS, we'll call it RCS. Okay, not the most effective, but it did work. We gained 340,000 gold, and how much did we lose? How much did we lose? 153, so it's still good. But you know what, Dr. T was very generous, gave us a lot of, a lot of gold today. Well, anyway, guys, let's, we're gonna wrap it up. I'll uh, take a quick look again at the ladder, just to see where we're at. 46, 46, excellent, excellent. So staying on the top 50, that's exactly what we want. Uh, Right, so wrapping up this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a fantastic day. Hopefully, if you've already gone back to work, it's not too bad. And if you're still on vacation like me, hopefully you're really enjoying your time off. As always, guys, uh, remember December, which we only have a few days left, is Boom Beach Month. So share this game with a friend or family member. Have them download it. Strap the, uh, the game to their face. Don't let them not play it. And uh, let them share all the fun that we have. As always, guys, remember, you know what we don't about to say. Be kind to others, because if you're not, you're just mean. And mean people suck. Bring that ass back like a boom, 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 boom.